Looks like we are ready to go from New Orleans, so we'll continue on here on our Conference USA video conference call. And we are moving on now to Tulane, and we are joined by head coach Bob Toledo, beginning his third season, leading the Green Wave, along with Coach Toledo senior running back Andre Anderson, who was leading CUSA in rushing last season before an injury cut his season short. Uh, first off, Coach Toledo, just give us your opening thoughts uh, looking ahead to the 2009 season. Well, obviously, I'm very excited about uh, our future. You know, we had a very difficult season last year, uh, losing 17 players to season-ending injuries, including this running back right here, who was one of the leading rushers in the nation. So our, our kids have uh, come back. They've worked hard this summer. Uh, we've had a great off-season program. Our, our strength coach, uh, Derek Atchley, has done a super job. Uh, we're, we're bigger, stronger, faster than we've ever been. And one of the things we did is we brought most of our, our team back for summer school, which hasn't happened here in a long time. And uh, that included every single freshman uh, in the month of July. So they've gone to summer school, taken a couple classes, have worked out. And uh, I've been told that they're doing really well. Uh, last year, you played uh, Joe Kemp. We saw Kevin Moore as well in quarterback. How was the quarterback battle shaping up going into the fall camp? Well, during spring practice, uh, we named Joe Kemp the starter at the end, and uh, you know we, we feel very good about Joe. Uh, he's a 6'4", 210-pound kid that can run well. Uh, he's got a very good arm. He's extremely accurate. Uh, he can make plays, and uh, we're anxious to see how well he does. I know he's worked hard this summer to try to prepare himself for fall camp. Uh, you know, you look at Kevin Moore, and there, there's a guy who started 12 games for us last year and, and is really a, a quality backup quarterback for us at this point. And a young man that's not mentioned, Ryan Griffin, is a, is a redshirt freshman, a kid from California who we think has a lot of ability as well. We are joined also by uh, all of our member institutions in Conference USA. We're going to go to uh, Orlando now, and uh, Ileana Lamon with a question for Coach Toledo. Hi there, Coach. How are you? Uh, I just wanted to ask you a, a little bit about the rest of Conference USA and, and see if you can give me a sense of, of who you see as, as being the favorites, I guess, this year or, or a strong standout team toward the top. I know you all didn't do a, a preseason coaches poll, so I was just curious to get your thoughts on the rest of the league. First of all, I remember you from way back when, right? UCLA. <laughs> what are you doing in Florida, huh? <laughs> but, uh, no. uh, working for the Sentinel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you were following me around. I wasn't sure. <laughs> no, I saw you last year, and it's good to see you again, by the way. Uh, I'll tell you what, the, the conference is really probably better than I thought it would be when I first got in it. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what Conference USA was all about, and, and I've learned to respect it uh, tremendously. Uh, I think there's a lot of great athletes, particularly skilled athletes. I think there's some outstanding coaches that are in this conference. And, uh, you know, as, as far as picking teams, it, it's hard. And, and I, I think what happens is, you know, the media gets involved and, uh, for example, they, they think we're not going to win a game and we're going to be in last place. And uh, I just don't buy into that, you know. Now, there are some good teams. You know, you look at East Carolina who won it last year, uh, they're, they're outstanding. Central Florida, I believe, has an outstanding team coming back. You look at our side and you look at Houston and Tulsa and, and a lot of the other teams, uh, they're just a lot of great football teams. And I think anybody can beat anybody on any given day. So it makes for, a, for an exciting conference and, uh, and uh, one that uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to uh, participating in this season. Coach, you've been, you, know, you were a little surprised by the league when you first joined it. Were you a little surprised by the parity up and down this league as well? Yeah, I am. I I, uh, I think that there's a lot of parity in this conference, and uh, you know, if you look at the conference champion, I think we've had a different one every year for the last four years. So, I just believe that uh, there's a lot of good players, as I mentioned. There's a lot of good coaches, and because you play so many league games, a lot of things can happen. So, uh, you know, we're just we're just uh, looking forward to to playing the season and hopefully ending up uh, at the top of our division and getting a chance to play in the in a bowl game, hopefully the Liberty Bowl. I believe uh, Tammy Nunez, who's on site with you there at Tulane, also has a question for us today. I uh, wanted to, first of all, get your reaction to this format, um, video conference. Well, I tell you what, being a first, it's interesting. You know, I, I, I'll have to wait till it's all over, but uh, uh, it, it does uh, solve the problem of having to get on a plane and take players to another site and uh, 
to, to be there uh, all day and, and, and doing that type of thing where you can be home and you can get a lot of work done and still be able to accomplish the things that you need to accomplish. So it, it appears that it's working out pretty well. You know, every school's got a chance to be on TV and you got a chance to have a player with them and, and to answer the questions that are asked. So I think uh, it appears to be doing real well and hopefully it'll save us some money as well. Um, coming off the season that you had last year with all of the adversity that you faced, it's like you need a glue or something, a certain player or a group of players to kind of rally around. Do you have that kind of personality? Well, I think first of all, uh, the thing you got to rally around are your seniors. And, uh, you know, this is our third year, and some of these guys were in the program prior to me getting here. But I think every year it has gotten better. Uh, the, the, the players have bought into our program. They understand the philosophy and, and what we're asking of them. Uh, and I just really believe we've got some outstanding leadership from, from our senior class. So I'm looking forward to people like Andre Anderson, who's to my left here, to, to giving us direction and giving us leadership and to, and to bring the young guys a, a, along with them. The obvious place to look for that is at quarterback. What, what is Joe, what, does he have those type of leadership qualities? Well, I sure hope so because he's named the starter right now. But, uh, yeah, Joe Kemp, in my opinion, has outstanding ability. You know, like I mentioned earlier, he's got size, he's got speed, athleticism. Uh, he's got a great arm. He's accurate. Uh, he can avoid the rush. Uh, his big thing right now is he just needs some time. And unfortunately, he got hurt in the Houston game last year uh, and, and broke his collarbone and missed the last basically half of the season. But he had a good spring. He's healthy. He's worked out hard this summer. And uh, I believe he'll have an excellent season. Thank you, Tammy. Uh, now let's go uh, up to Memphis and from the Commercial Appeal, we've got a question from Pete Wickham. Go ahead, Pete. Good morning, Coach. How are you? I'm doing good, Pete. By the way, you know, I played in that golf tournament and my buddies from FedEx and myself were 11 under, so I hope we win a prize, huh? <laughs> I haven't been told yet. They'll let you back on the course. <laughs> <laughs> that said, the song, you said this is the first time you had everybody together for summer school. What were the things you were trying to accomplish in terms physically and team-wise and, and all the other intangibles? What are the things that got done and what were the things were you hoping to get done this summer? Yeah, well, first and foremost, they, they, they wanted to go to summer school and take a couple classes, and they did that, and they've done really well from what I understand. But what we wanted to do is we wanted our strength and conditioning coaches to get them bigger, stronger, faster and in better physical shape. And then the other thing is by bringing all those freshmen in uh, the entire month of July to, to take a couple classes and to work out, uh, they were able to gain some strength. They were able to work out with our players. I had a mentor program where each uh, upperclassman was responsible for one of those freshmen. They kind of took them under their wing and, and kind of helped them along, so to speak. So. Uh, I know they were out there uh, running plays and throwing balls and doing those things. Obviously, we as a coach and staff were on vacation, weren't there. But the players kind of uh, helped them to learn some of the offense and defense and some of the drills that we run so that when they come uh, to start practice, they have a pretty good idea of what we're already doing. And by doing that, I believe it helps them to contribute early as true freshmen. Uh, a couple few years ago when, when they uh, didn't allow freshmen to come in uh, a few days prior to the veterans. Uh, I think that, that uh, eliminated the opportunity for them to step in and contribute early. So this is a way to help them to really catch up and to, and to, and to kind of get ahead of what's going on. Uh, 